Hi there, here's a short topic video on the PPF, the Production Possibility Frontier, and the concept of opportunity cost. So opportunity cost, of course, is the cost of a choice in terms of the next best alternative that's sacrificed or foregone. PPF shows combinations of two products, in this case wheat and cotton, that can be uh, produced using all available production resources efficiently. Now we can use the shape of the curvature of the PPF to explain the idea of opportunity cost. Let's take in this example the idea of shifting production from A to B along the PPF, in other words increasing the output of cotton. What we're doing of course is we're reallocating our, our resources of land and labour and capital away from wheat towards trying to increase the supply of cotton. In our example, uh, an extra 100 tonnes of cotton to move down from A to B involves having to give up 40 tonnes of wheat. So we say that the opportunity cost of the extra output of cotton is four tenths of a tonne of wheat for each extra tonne of cotton. However, as we move down the PPF, the opportunity cost changes. PPF, of course, has been drawn as uh, concave to the origin, and this is based on the idea of diminishing returns. The law of diminishing returns is that as we add more resources into a particular output, we get less extra marginal output. So let's say we move now from output uh, B on the PPF to output C. We're increasing our output of cotton by 80 units, but having to sacrifice 80 units of wheat. So the increased opportunity cost, of course, now, because for each extra tonne of cotton, we're having to sacrifice one tonne of wheat. Therefore, as we move down the PPF, if there are diminishing returns, then the opportunity cost, the marginal opportunity cost, measured in terms of lost wheat, goes up. We can draw a PPF as a linear idea, straight line. And uh, this suggests a perfect factor substitutability, in other words, no diminishing returns. If the PPF is a straight line, then the marginal opportunity cost of switching resources, in this case between consumer and capital goods, will be constant. In our example here, as we shift production towards more capital goods, the marginal cost of an extra 15 units of capital goods is 30 units of consumer goods, two consumer goods per extra capital good. So when the PPF is a straight line, the marginal opportunity cost is constant. That's a short video on the PPF and opportunity cost.